Hey guys, welcome back. It's Ada. Um, this is your first time here. Hey, and uh, welcome. So, um, doing the makeup. I don't even think it's a tutorial. I'm just, I just felt like beating my face. So here I am putting on the, um, the serum, the flower, whatever you call it, serum. Um, everything that I'm using will be listed down below. So, yeah. Um, here we have me applying my primer. I am using the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I think it's the P Poreless Putty Primer. I think that's how it's, it's pronounced. Um, yeah, putting it on my face. Um, focusing on the areas where I know that I have larger pores, like around my nose area and whatnot. Here I am going in with my foundation. I am using Charlotte Tillsbury, the airbrush flawless foundation. And I think I am using 14 neutral. Um, as you can see, it is kind of, it is not my exact color, but don't you worry, you're pretty little bad about that because I, I adjust it. I make it work. Um, yeah, I make it work. So just keep watching it's going it's it's it's, it's gonna look nice <laughs> um yeah here i am concealing and highlighting um i'm using the kosa um concealer and then on top of that i'm putting the uh, uh maybelline age rewind on top of it mixture of the two gives me like a really really nice Put together look and it definitely helps blend um the foundation itself so it doesn't look as wrong or as mis mismatch um as it did when i applied it by itself um the Kosa is not necessarily a highlighter it's definitely just a concealer but i mix it with the asian wine just because the asian wine is like it's really really white and if i don't mix it it's it looks it looks weird um but everything gets fixed here i am applying my laurier laura mercier um loose setting powder in the shade medium deep this definitely brings everything together um the shade kind of just warms everything up on my face and things start to look a lot more better um so yeah i'm doing reverse contouring and uh, just setting everything that I already um, that I already applied. So that's what I'm doing here, and I guess I'm singing too. After that, I decided I was going to do my brows. I usually do my brows off camera, and uh, yeah, I guess I am off camera. Like I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I think here I'm talking to my wife. Um, she may have just come in or whatever, but yeah, I'm definitely talking to her. At least I'm talking to her and I'm just talking to myself because <laughs> that would be crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, let's do the other brow. I can never get them to look the same, but it's okay because they're... What are they? Sisters, not twins. So it's okay. What are we even talking about? I can't. I don't. I don't even know what we're talking about. I like the way I do my brows now. They don't look so put together. They look really, really fuzzy and whatnot, but clean also at the same time. Um, here, I'm taking my cream contour. I'm putting it on the back of my hand to warm it up. Because if I don't warm it up, I feel like I'm just asking for trouble. So I use that smaller brush to apply it, and then I use this bigger brush to kind of just blend it in. Um, yeah, so it looks blended 
because if I use that small one I still have tons of product on there and then it just gets really really muddy so yeah and I just be so iffy with this cream contour I never know if I'm doing it right oh pause by mistake um like I said I never know if I'm doing it right I never know if both sides of my face look the same um it's really all trial and error and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hill cream contour and I think I'm in cool brown yeah see I think that looks okay right I don't know I want to go back to my powder contours but I want this to work I want this to work really bad because I like the way it looks I like the temperature like how cool it is um, because usually my face will be warm, depending on what foundation I'm using. But when I add this cooler contour to it, it kind of evens everything out. Um, yeah. And then here I'm going in with my, um, what is this, blending sponge? sponge. And I'm just making sure that things look blended so i'm just going over top of that um along with my um concealer that i applied there and where it's just you know concealer is my idea and i am just putting those things together and here we go with the slow-mo with the setting spray yeah this is the urban decay all-nighter setting spray and I usually spray this a couple of times. So once when I have all my cream products on, and then next when I have all my powder products on, and then I do it at the end just to ensure that everything is locked in place. Here I am doing my eyeshadow. I am keeping it really simple. I think I use maybe three to four colors. Um, yeah. And I am in the Morphe and Coca-Cola palette. This is one of my favorite palettes currently. Um, just because it's it just has all the colors that you could possibly need, in my opinion. Like to achieve this look, it had everything I could possibly ask for. Um so yeah. So I apply my contour, I mean yeah, I apply the shadow into my um, crease line. I blend the top of that out and then I go ahead and I apply some shadow to my lid and then I go ahead and I apply my shimmer and then I go ahead and I deepen the corners or well, the corner of my eye so that it just looks a little bit more smoky um, and I should have repeated this at the bottom of my um, lash line but I did not I just kept it at the top um yeah and here we go mascara this is the Maybelline sky high mascara and let me tell y'all this is my motherfucking crap right now like it makes my lashes look like I got lashes and that's popping like I feel well, really really nice like it opens my eyes up and um, yeah, I don't know what to say about it. It's just amazing. It really truly is. Um, this is the sample size that I have, and I believe it's not the waterproof kind, but I did purchase the waterproof kind. Oh, see? Okay, mascara. Uh, I'm gonna have to change that. Or I'm gonna leave it alone. Since I'm already doing this voiceover, should I remove it? Should I change it? Probably not. So I won't. Um, put on tons of coats. Now nah, I'm lying. I put on maybe like two coats, two up top, two at the bottom, bottom lashes. Um, yeah, two coats. Let's move on. What's next? I think next is like. Oh, here I go. I am removing whatever shadow may have fallen onto my nose. Um, 
with a dual fiber brush I feel like this is the best brush to use because it doesn't it doesn't push anything into your skin like kind of like this it does remove what you needed to remove um, here I go with one of my favorite favorite hand sound blushes and this is the KVD snapdragon bl blush blah, 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 blush um, yeah this is my this is my jam like it's just it's just I don't know it's just gorgeous I absolutely love the way it looks and I love the way it blends out and uh, I I just enjoy wearing it very much so um, and some people don't like it when their blush shows like they try to use a little bit of blush mm, I paid money for this so let's all enjoy it because it wasn't cheap um yeah i like my blush to show it's got to show when i'm applying it because what's the point at the end of the day so here i am going in with i think we're using the nars um trans not translucent what is it called the nars this nars setting powder it's um it's light reflective and everything and it is amazing I'm definitely almost hitting pan which is sad because then it's like oh, I gotta go buy another one um it's not that I don't want to buy another one it's just I don't know if I want to spend that money I really don't so here I go reapplying some of that blush that I may have lost while setting everything and then I go ahead and I put it on top of my nose and there we go with another spray, more slow mo. Um, yeah. I like the slow mo with the, with the spray. I think it's kind of cool. But y'all let me know if I'm doing too much. That is a lot of sprays. Like, come on. Oh my god, am I still spraying? What the hell? Okay, that's enough. Alright, there we go. Okay, face is done, hair is down. Um, and I decided I want to do something different with my hair. I'm twisting one side, holding it in my mouth until I can twist the other side. And at first I messed up, and then I took it out, and then I think it looked better. But it was kind of like, whatever, at this point. Um, yeah. It's like, uh, it'll be okay. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how I wanted this style to look. Um, and I think it looks really nice. Like, I think, like, the fact, I didn't re, I retwisted my hair, as we can all see. But I didn't retwist the whole thing. If you guys want to know what I'm singing, and I'm so hyped to be singing, this is Tori Kelly, I believe. Um, hallelujah. Look at me. My, my wife is like, can you not sing that song anymore? Like, and I'm sitting there just looking real mischievous. Like, are you so going to be? Um, um, a little chapstick. Um, this is the Laneige. Laneige? Laneige? Um lip somethings i don't know they were, i think it's i think i listed this and it's in the shade bubblegum or something like that <sighs> i don't know for sure but yeah so i buy that um and then i think i'm gonna go ahead and line my lips but you guys don't even see that because i'm so off the camera and i'm so off the screen that y'all don't even see that see I can't even tell what I'm doing, but I am indeed lining my lips. I'm gonna just lift my head up. Y'all will tell. Y'all will know. There we go. Y'all can see a little bit. A little bit? Just a little bit. There we go. Alright. What color am I doing? What am I doing? Am I reading a text message? I don't know. I can't be put everything with the lipstick because it's taking way too long. 
What are you doing? What am I doing? I, I have no idea. But here I go. I'm putting on this lipstick. And I like this lipstick a lot. It feels like... It looks like my lips. But better. If that makes sense. Like it's not too much. It's just... It's just the perfect amount of color on lips so that's why i like it and i think i'll go ahead and put a gloss on top and this is the maybelline the lift the lift fillers i think that's what they call it and i know this is my my favorite 002 ice i absolutely love that and i guess i'm just giving my lips a little bit more gloss And this bottle is almost empty, so I'm definitely just gonna try to get as much as I can. I need to get another one, because this one is empty. But look at that, look at how beautiful my lips look. They're so creamy. Okay, slow-mo because I'm feeling myself. Yeah, go ahead, me. Looking all nice and whatnot. Look in my hair, making sure that it's mostly blended. Um, yeah, and it's fine. Okay, what's next? I think I go and change, and then I come back and I finish everything else. Ooh. Ooh. Look at me. I look nice. Oh, yeah, you can tell I'm feeling myself. Look at the way the light hits my eyes and it just makes my eyes pop. Okay, girl, come on. What's next? Video says we have three minutes left. Oh, there we go. I changed. I changed my outfit. Well, I was always going to change. I just, yeah, I'm wearing something different. I'm putting on some chunky and chunky necklace, some bold, um, some gold earrings. Like they're, they're like they're thick hoops. I love them. Um,. Yeah, I really do enjoy wearing these earrings. Here we go. And then I am doing the flower bomb perfume. Just a couple spritz. A spritz on my wrist and then I'm going to apply it where I need to apply it on my neck in case my wife wanna whisper something in my ears she'll catch a whiff fall in love all over again changing the straps to my watch I went from grey to black uh, I'm putting on a bracelet what else am I doing is that it? Am I done? Okay, and then I put my glasses on. Yep. Yeah, so I don't want these glasses. I have another pair, but these work for me when it comes to this look. It looks perfect. And I think the rest of the video is just me showing off. Um, so I don't have anything else to say. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe. Because if you made it to this point, you might as well just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm trying to be more consistent with uploading. So hit that notification button so you guys can see when things are going up. Um, and if you like this video, 
and let me know by giving me a thumbs up. That is also appreciated. Um, yeah. So like I said, everything that I use will be listed down below. And if you guys are interested, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, and let me know what you thought. This is my first voiceover, and uh, the next video will not be a voiceover, it will be a talk through. So, we're gonna see which one is better, I guess. Which one is more preferred. If you guys have a preference, please let me know down in the comments so I can let that be, so we can let that be known. So, yeah. Alright, bye y'all.